Hi, welcome to Mag Chats Books. Today I'm going to do my final September wrap up as well as my September favorites. This month I did wrap ups for most of my science fiction books that I read, but I did read four other books that weren't science fiction, so I thought I would bring those up as well as go over the favorites that I had for the month of September. The first books that I read um, were first a reread Persepolis one by Marjane Sharapi. This is an autobiography of her time in Iran. I had read this earlier this summer. This was our book of the month for um, the Read Around the World book club and so I read that one and then also got Persepolis 2 and read that one as well. Persepolis 1 to me is a four star read. I really enjoyed it. I thought there were very innovative ways to tell a story. The illustrations, it's, they're both graphic novels. The illustrations inside are just really nice. They're in black and white. The writing style is very non-emotional so that you are able to put your own emotion with it. It's not over dr dramatic and I found that to ma made it more emotional for me, if that makes sense. The second book is her time outside of Iran. She is sent to Austria. It was interesting. I enjoyed the book, but not as much as the first one. For some of the reasons why I enjoyed the first one, the non-emotional way that she told the story, I didn't find that worked as well for the second part. And I'm trying to figure out why. I don't really know, but this book I gave three stars. This book I gave one star to. At the end of the month, my plan was to read N.K. Jemisin's The Obelisgate. It was the last sci-fi book I wanted to read in the month of September. But when I started it, I just was not in the mood for another sci-fi book. And I decided to put it aside and give it the attention it deserves at a later time. And decided that I would read the first chapters of the books that I was looking at uh, for October reads. So I started reading Tin Man by Sarah Winman. I got through chapter one. I continued with the story and didn't put it down until I was finished. This book was absolutely wonderful. And the only thing I knew about it was the back blurb, which I'll read to you. It begins with a painting, one in a raffle, 15 sunflowers hung on the wall by a woman who believes the, that men and boys are capable of beautiful things. This book, I recommend you read just knowing that and not really knowing much more about it. It is a book about relationships, about love, about loss. It is a beautiful book. It's a really quick read. I will be reading more by Sarah Winman. In fact, I ordered When God Was a Rabbit because I really wanted to read more by her. I gave this book five stars, thought it was wonderful. So then I decided to continue reading the first chapters of books I wanted to read in October and picked up Sing Unburied Sing by Jesmyn Ward. Again, read the first chapter, could not put it down. This book is about Jojo, a 12-year-old boy, and his younger sister, Kayla, who is about three years old. They are uh, living in rural Mississippi with their grandparents. Their father is in prison. Their mother is a drug addict who is not a very good mother. And so they are raised by their grandparents. The story is told by three different people. First, Jojo who you get the childhood innocence of the story. It's also told by Lonnie, his mother, who although she's a drug addict, Jasmine Ward does not just put her down as a drug addict and that's it. She becomes the one of the most complex characters in the book. She is a drug addict. She does have feelings but isn't able to express them. Her motherly skills are non-existent, but she wants to be a good mother. And you, you see her try to deal with that, but she totally fails. She's horrible. You become so angry at her sometimes. And then the other character that you hear the story from is Richie, who is a 12-year-old ghost of a former prisoner in the 1950s. And his role, at first I wasn't sure what it was, and then you saw the symbolism because it, the story also, though it's written in the 1950s till modern day, it deals a lot with slavery and the way that black Americans are treated, even at, in rural Mississippi and other places today. This book is one that I would, I probably will put back on the shelf 
and then bring it out and reread it again because there are things in this book I don't think I got completely out of it. There is so much symbolism in this and so much that's more than just the story. Another five star for me. I totally recommend this book. So I will go to my favorites now. My favorite book I would say of this month was Home by um, Nettie Okorafor. This is the second book in the Binti series. I do have a review of this one and I'll link that below with my sci-fi. Wonderful book. Loved it better than the first and I really loved the first book. Then Ten Men with Sarah Winman. Awesome book. And Sing a Buried Sing by Jasmine Ward. Now this month I also got into a couple series that were sci-fi but I've discussed those before. The one that I really enjoyed is The Old Man's War by John Scalzi and I'll be continuing to read that. I just read the first book so far. Other favorites this month are, if you can notice I got new bookshelves, either the um, Billy bookshelves from Ikea. They are in the brown ash color. I've been wanting them for a long, long time. My other bookshelves were falling apart and also not big enough to hold all the books I had. Now I have more room to expand, which may be a good thing, maybe a bad thing. And I really love them. So that's my number one favorite. Another favorite is um, something that kind of made me laugh when I watched Simon the Savage Reads. He said, most book lovers also love mugs. And I thought, oh my gosh, I got a favorite of mine. And it's a mug. And this is the Royal Albert um, mug. And it is by um, Miranda Kerr. I have one already that's in the green like this, but my husband got this for me for my anniversary and I really love it. It has butterflies and looks like peonies on the outside. Another favorite, I usually do, when I do favorites, movies and television shows, but I didn't see any movies in the theater this month or in the month of September and I really am in a hiatus for television because I'm waiting for Walking Dead to start, which it starts at the end of October, yay. And since Game of Thrones is over, it's no TV for me. But on DVDs, I got Wonder Woman, another gift from my husband. And this movie I saw in the theaters actually twice, which is very rare for me. But the DVD has extended two hours, which talks about the making of the movie, which I really enjoyed because I've already watched that part. And so this is one of my favorites for entertainment that I had this month. So that completes my September wrap-up and my September favorites. If you've read any of the books that I've read this month, please let me know what you thought of them. If you have any favorites this month, please let me know what those are. Thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you later. Goodbye.